What if I told you that one of the minds behind the new mural for the Philadelphia Eagles has a deeper purpose behind his art and a journey that he hopes will inspire others? His name is Kyle Edwards. He joins us today to talk about his story, his art, and what he hopes to convey to those who see it. He's joining us tonight, and that's all coming up right here, right now. I'm Sam Chen, and this is Face the Issues. Good evening and welcome to Face the Issues. I'm Sam Chen. So many of you have seen the new mural for the Philadelphia Eagles, but the minds behind it have a deeper meaning for the art that they do. One of those artists is Kyle Edwards. He's from the Lehigh Valley region of Pennsylvania and he joins us tonight to share his journey, his artwork, and why he does it all. Kyle, welcome to Face the Issues. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. And uh, first, uh, congratulations on the mural. Um, so much. We've all seen it. It's well done. Um, but we're, we're going to talk about your art in a moment. Um, but we also want to talk about just you and your journey tonight. And I, I think the first big question uh, that anyone has when they meet an artist, whether it is in, in the visual arts or the music arts, performing arts, is why art? Um, I mean, you've done a lot more than this mural. We'll get to your work later on. But sure. for you, why art? Why did you choose this path? Uh, art for me always came pretty naturally. Uh, I was the kid in the back of the class getting in trouble for doodling, I'll be <laughs> honest. Um, so it really started in classrooms. Uh, I would draw comic book strips, uh, show my friends my artwork, and um, I saw their expression, their appreciation for the artwork, and it just, you know, grew from there. Um, then it turned into paintings, uh, painting on shirts, painting on canvas, uh, and it just took off from there. But it always felt natural, it always felt like my contribution, um, my way of doing good and, and giving back, uh, in essence. You say you started doing this when you were in school. Yes. Uh, and you know, we hear that story for so many people that it's just, it starts as just something that's a hobby or something they enjoy doing, and then they find out it's a passion. Sure. Was there a point in your life, Kyle, where you, you knew, like, I want this to be a career. I want this to, to I, I really want, I don't just want to, to do the on my notepad while sure. I'm sitting in a nine to five. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, I want to do this. Was there a point in your life where, where that was just evident to you? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I'd have to say, um, when I had an experience in 2012, uh, my sister passed away, um, and I went through all the emotions, uh, of course, but I kind of got stuck in, in uh, depression for quite a while. Um, I turned to artwork again. I put it aside for quite a while. I have kids. I was a young father, so I just work in nine to five, making sure I can uh, provide for my family. Um, so artwork kind of took a back burner. It wasn't until that loss uh, that was so devastating that I turned to it again and uh, realized that how therapeutic it was for me. Yeah. I realized uh, how meaningful it was for others around me, especially my family, um, when I would paint things and they had such a deeper meaning. It was probably at that point that I said, you know what, um, money aside, uh, I need to pursue this full time and find a way to do it fast. Yeah, I am so sorry to hear about your sister. Appreciate that. It, it, it's just so striking how a, an event like that often gets us back to something, in your case, like artwork. Exactly. Um, that's, and I, I can't imagine just how proud she is mm. to be the inspiration that brought you back to where you are. Uh, do you, when you do art, I know for you, art isn't just something that's visual. There's a deeper meaning to it. You started the organization, a true love story, and you, you tell a story with your art. Mm. How much of that is inspired by your sister and, and those events? Well, you said it perfectly. Yeah, they, I definitely do try to tell a story through the artwork, through the fashion, through the events I've hosted mm -hmm. in the past. Um, it, it honestly, when I work on projects, whether at home or in front of others or at events and so on, um, she's with me. Uh, and not to get too deep, but when I refer to us and we, I, I mean my sister and I, even to this day, when I email uh, clients that want a project done or mock up for something, I say we will get right to it. Us, I use those sort of words because I truly feel like she's with me in everything I do. Um, she, towards the end of her journey and uh, on this, on this uh, uh, side of, of, um, of life here, we, uh, again, she went through a, a bat of, cancer and it happened very fast very rapidly but towards the end 
Um, she was very fearless, and that always stood true and, and, and always um, meant a great deal to me, even to the very end. Uh, never saw a shed a tear. She knew yeah. it was uh, towards the end, and she, she was fearless. So that sort of um, energy I try to convey to the world, uh, believe me, I get nervous. I've painted live in front of people. Um, but I always try to tap into what my sister would have done, uh, what yeah. she would do now. That's kind of what uh, this, a true love story is all about. Wow. And that's just such a testament to your sister. And I think to your point, when you, when you have cancer, uh, and I think there's so many people in our world that think it's, you know, we go through this life and if I can't do something with my life, or I can't make an impact in this life, and it's all for nothing. Mm -hmm. And then there's so many people who do make an impact, and they get to the end of their life, and they still think, I didn't do anything. And yet, there's people like your sister who, facing the end of this journey on this side of eternity, mm -hmm. she continues to make that impact. Exactly. Um, and to be inspired and watching how somebody battles through what they know is the end of their journey, mm -hmm. um, that's just such a remarkable testimony. Um, Kyle, is there, I mean, you hinted at the fact that you've always loved art, but you've always done some other things as well. Um, what, was there ever anything else that you wanted to do? Did you ever think that you were gonna pursue something besides art? Again, great question. Um, yeah, when I was younger, uh, I think it's important to follow your purpose, not, yeah. not your passion. Passion yeah. is fleeting. Um, yeah. So when I was younger, I was into cooking. I was gonna be a chef. I still love to cook, don't get me yeah. wrong. That may come back later down the line. But uh, yeah, I, th I didn't want to be a chef. I enjoyed that for a period of my life. Then uh, drawing, I felt, felt like I wouldn't make enough of an income to support a family on just doodling. So I said, well, what's an art form or what's a uh, craft that people get paid relatively well? Architecture. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to be an architect for a while. So I, I went through uh, quite a few uh, fields uh, in terms of what I wanted to do ultimately with my life, um, but it all kind of uh, circled around art. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, fine dining, you go to a great establishment, they put a plate in front of you, that thing's a work of art. Yeah. Uh, again, architects are out there, they're drawing and doing what they need to do to get the uh, blueprints for a building to go up, and then we see this wonderful piece yeah. of artwork structure in front of us. So it all essentially was based in art. Um, but again, it wasn't until I had that experience in 2012 that really, uh, really gave me the um, energy and focus I needed. I turned a terrible experience into something that ultimately was going to benefit me, uh, and started uh, my line. Yeah. What? And it, in that journey, I mean, to every anyone who's watching this right now at this point is thinking, okay. Do you make enough money to live? Uh, because the joke is always like you can go into art or sure. you can eat, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. Uh, what I mean, the journey's got to be challenging. Very. I mean, not just that it started with with this this tragic uh, event with your sister that mm -hmm. that inspired the the just the beauty of your artwork, but the journey itself as being an artist has to be challenging. Can it you is. talk to us a little about that journey? Sure. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a father first and foremost. Uh, I'm, I'm now a, a husband, two years uh, a husband now. Um, so I'm those things first. Mm -hmm. So I realize that I have to create an income, sustainable mm -hmm. income for my family. So even up to this day, I still have odd jobs. I still work part times. Mm -hmm. I still, but I, I made up my mind long ago, I'm not gonna be a struggling artist. I'm not gonna be a, you know, someone that doesn't eat. We're gonna figure out what to eat. I'll do this on the side for a while until I'm able to pivot and make it my full time, which that's, I'm on the cusp of that now. Um, so yeah, it, it definitely, it's not easy. It's not, uh, but anything worth having it isn't easy, yeah. right? As they say. So um, for me, I made up my mind a long time ago, okay, if I can't do this full time just yet, um, you know, work very hard until I can. And, and I, again, I'm, I'm right on the cusp of that. That's great. Yeah. That is great. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks so much. What you say to others who are watching this, whether they're in the visual arts or in music, a um, lot of gig artists who just who are struggling to take it to that next level, mm -hmm. what, what advice do you have for them based on your own journey? Yeah, I'd have to go back to uh, you know following your purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you made up your mind that this is your purpose and not just yeah. a passion project. Uh, don't get me wrong, passion is terrific, it's beautiful, but again, it's fleeting. Uh, but when you know, and you know that you know that you're doing your purpose, something God instilled in you to yeah. contribute to the world, there's no wavering. Hmm. Um, for me, I have unwavering faith that I know 
that I'm doing what I'm meant to do, what I'm put here to do, uh, and this is my contribution when it's all said and done. Um, so for me, like I said, I, I was the guy working second shift, so I can raise my daughter during the day, uh, going at nighttime. I worked third shift for many years. I did warehouse work. I've done serving. So um, yeah, my advice to that person is just persevere. Yeah. You know, um, it's only a matter of time. It's inevitable. If you're doing the work, it's inevitable that success will come. You know, success and money is something you attract, not something you pursue. Yeah. It's coming your way. Just be patient. Kyle, what I, what I like about you is you, you, you say you worked in a warehouse, you worked as a server. I've had you as a server. You yes. are fantastic, by Thanks the way. Thanks so much. <laughs> um, and there's a lot of people who would say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm an aspiring artist. I'm going to be great one day. This stuff is below me. And yet you've never had the attitude about it. Is there anything from those jobs, whether it's been mm -hmm. serving or in the warehouse, that you feel has actually helped you become a better artist? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I was a warehouse manager for many years. Mm -hmm. I've had teams from the size of you know 20 some odd people to 200 people that I was overseeing. Um, obviously, that taught me leadership skills. Sure. Um, you know, able to speak and, and and get my message across eloquently. I was you know I had team meetings every shift. Uh, so being a server, um, you know, interacting with folks, um, having those those conversations, mm -hmm. having that dialogue. Uh, telling them a little, because more often than not, people ask, well, what else do you do? Yeah. You know, because yeah. they, they feel like I, there's got to be something else to it. Um, so I elaborate, I tell them a little bit about myself. And, and again, having those moments to really talk to folks and you constantly being tested. You know, class is always in session if you're willing to attend, you know, so just pay attention, be in the moment. But every job I've ever had contributed to the overall good. I know that uh, for a fact. Some of the warehouse work is some tough work. Yeah. Uh, but it built me up not only physically stronger, but mentally, verbally, socially stronger. Um, so yeah, every, everything has played a part. I love that you just said, was it class is always in session always. if you're willing to attend. Absolutely. Uh, the great Roberto Clemente had always said that he, was, he is not just a player of the game, but a student of the game, forever Amen. a student. Uh, Kyle, I love that. Uh, we're going to go to break, but when we come back, I want to talk about your artwork. And I want to talk about what inspires you and, and just actually get into some of the work that you're doing. So terrific. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Face the Issues is produced and recorded in the studios of Lighthouse TV. Positively different. Welcome back to Face the Issues. Kyle, thanks again for being here. Hey, I want to talk about your artwork. Um, we talked earlier in, in our intro segment that you did, you and a partner did the mural for the Philadelphia Eagles. I know you've done a few things for other Philly sports teams, but you are the founder of an organization called A True Love Story. Uh, talk to us about what A True Love Story is. Sure. Uh, so again, A True Love Story um, is sort of an umbrella. Uh, but there are three pillars uh, to the company, which is art, fashion, mm -hmm. and entertainment. Um, so again, art, you know, painting on canvas, painting on shirts. Um, as of late, we've done quite a few large-scale mural projects. I uh, actually hope to get one with the city of Allentown again. Um, fashion, a true love story. I have an apparel line as well. Um, so that, for me, was kind of the beginning uh, to a true love story. Mm -hmm. And things kind of just fell in, into place. Um, I actually started a painting on shirts because I ran out of canvases and it turned into an apparel <laughs> line. Uh, so yeah, a lot of uh, motivational sayings. Uh, I'm actually doing a series right now called Note to Self. They're little reminders of, um, you know, just the, that little motivational saying or phrase that you might need throughout the mm -hmm. course of the day, course of the week, course of the month. Um, and then of course, entertainment. So I've hosted a number of events, private events, uh, and we've done uh, quite a few things with the city of Allentown. Um, so yeah, those are the three pillars, and, and again, that, that's how we uh, contribute, that's how I contribute to, to the overall good. I love that you just said that you ran out of canvas, so you started painting on shirt. I mean, this is how, how uh, the waffle cone was invented for exactly. ice cream, right? I mean, yes. innovation, this is how innovation works. Yes. I love that, Kyle. Absolutely. Um, so a true love story, love, you actually write out as an acronym. What does that stand for? Looking on to victory every day. And what does that mean to you? Uh, for me, when my, again, uh, when my sister passed, um, I went through, you know, a bout of depression and, and artwork and painting and, and, and doing those sort of things sort of brought me back to myself. Um, I prayed on a name. 
I initially didn't have a name for the mm-hmm. brand or what I wanted to do because again, it was I was just painting. Yeah. I didn't really want to or even thought about starting a, an apparel line. Uh, but when I ran out of canvases, I painted on shirts and then I would post some things and I had good feedback from folks. Um, did some custom stuff for quite a few people. But uh, that aside, I needed a name. I prayed on it. Sure enough, as I speak to you now, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm falling asleep and I, and I hear a voice in my head, uh, you know, and I believe it was God, of course, uh, mentioning to me a true love story. That's, that's all you said was a true love story. So that's pretty cool. But what does that mean? Yeah. And again, as I speak to you now, it's almost like I was having a conversation. If your sister was still around, how would she live her life? She would do the most she could do for herself physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually. Well, what do you call that? It's a true love story. That's the pursuit of, of yourself, your true self. Um, that in and of itself is a true love story. And that's uh, how we got to where we are today. Wow. Wow. I, I love how your sister is inspired so much with your work. Kyle, let me ask you about the work itself. Um, I, I, can't, I just I love this idea that you're painting on shirts because yes. you ran out of canvas. <laughs> what, I mean, you've done murals. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what do you do now? Like, what kind of art uh, do you do? So, yeah, as of late, murals are very popular. So mm-hmm. I've worked with a number of businesses. Uh, my partner and I, Justin Clement, we, we've done, we do all large-scale projects together. I uh, work with Powerhouse Gym, work with local salons, uh, local businesses, breweries, mm-hmm. oddly enough. Uh, again, we, my partner and I, we, we like beer. Uh, so we were hanging out, and that just kind of came out, came about organically. Um, so as of late, large-scale murals, um, hoping again to put in, I just put in a bid with the city of Allentown to get another project. Um, fingers crossed for that one. Uh, my apparel line, you know, I don't have a brick and mortar just yet, but mm-hmm. that's forthcoming. Mm-hmm. I do intend on it to expand the business, but online sales with apparel. Um, I do custom projects. I've worked with the NFL, with uh, Fox NFL, into a QuickBooks. I've done a Very custom cool. piece for the NFC Championship game. So it, these things just come about, yeah. you know, so whatever the client needs, and then I'll do uh, my creative work through my apparel. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So this thing that you did for, you said for the NFL, yes. uh, is that like a mural or is that? No, this what? was actually a separate. So I've worked with a local business, um, all with their salvage. Okay. Uh, Andre yeah. Williams owns that. So he actually used to be a, a ball player and played for the uh, Giants. Um, we won't hold that against them. No, I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, it's hard. It's hard talking to that guy, but no, he's a good guy. Um, so uh, they, the uh, Into a QuickBooks uh, and NFL, uh, Fox NFL, uh, more specifically, are, we're working with him. Or he reached out to me uh, to construct a mosaic, in essence, uh, a mosaic out of his denim. Wow. So that was one of the toughest projects I've had to date because yeah. I've never done anything like that. Um, but I was very patient, very diligent, and I cut each individual piece. It ended up being... Wow. 42 individual pieces of denim wow. I had to cut and place on a board for them to hang for the commercial that's really for the cool. NFC Championship game. So that's yeah. really cool. Yes, <laughs> that was exciting. Wow, that is really so. You do, I mean, you, you, the creative element remains, and you, there's things that you've not done before that you exactly. that you continue to do. Uh, what's I mean, what's the goal for you? Like, at what point do you? Um, I don't know if it's right to so a whole point to have you made it in mm-hmm. your mind mm-hmm. or, or like is there something that you go I want to do this next or I would love to do this kind of art next yes uh, again great question um, yeah I, I think for me uh, I, I don't know that I'll ever feel like I've made it um, but I definitely will remain in pursuit mm-hmm. um, and my next goal uh, for the next endeavor is to have a brick and mortar okay. uh, a place where um, it essentially uh, showcases all of what I want to contribute through the artwork, through mm-hmm. the apparel, and, and uh, even through training. I'm big into the gym. Uh, that's sort of my therapy. Um, so I want to have a place for people to train as well. But again, essentially a space where I can create and be, be free of uh, any distractions and really get to work. So that's, that is forthcoming. That's, that's coming soon. That's nice. And I, I kind of like the idea you said of just n- never having made it. Not in the sense of, of being self-deprecating, right? Sure. And just this, of kind of hating on yourself. Mm-hmm. But in the sense that, you know, there's, when you think of the great successes in the world, they've never allowed themselves to get out of, to, to be larger than the, themselves, right? Exactly. There's always those who kind of let the myth be larger than they actually are. Sure. And then I remember Barbara Kokorin, the real estate mogul in New York City, has always said, you know, the really successful people keep that little bit of self doubt mm. that just keeps them humble and keeps them in like check that. and keeps them in pursuit of, of the next thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think that's just a great work ethic. And to your point, I mean, that, that's your whole story that yes. you work jobs uh, to make sure you have food on the table, you can raise your family, and as you pursue the art, I just think that speaks volumes about how you've gone about doing it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Kyle, let me ask you this. 
there's a purpose in behind all your art. You've talked about your inspiration. What do you hope to convey when someone else sees it? When I look at your art, what do you hope to convey to someone like me? Um, again, great question. Uh, I, I would have to say um, perseverance. Again, uh, I, I hope to inspire, especially through the apparel, hope to inspire folks to uh, tap into their, their higher self, mm. uh, really lean on themselves in, in terms of trusting their instincts. Um, pursuing a dream, uh, whether it's writing a book or raising a family or wh whatever it is. There's, there's no right or wrong way of doing this thing. You have to stay true to yourself. That's the goal, and that's what I hope to convey to folks. Um, because at the end of the day, as my shirt says, no one's coming to save you. You know, you have to be there for yourself. You have to be your biggest cheerleader. Um, you know, again, you know, not talking down to yourself. Um, you know, being motivated, being being inspired, and being disciplined above all else. Because mm -hmm. there are more uh, days of difficulty than there are of ease. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's okay. You know, you you may have to stumble a couple times. Um, you're gonna get some bumps and bruises. But again, pick yourself up. Uh, I hope my artwork just conveys. Uh, you know, again, discipline, focus, inspiration, uh, and motivation, folks. Yeah, and that shirt is from your product line. It is. That's yes. Neat. Yeah, yeah. It's part of uh, my spring launch. Uh, okay. So yeah, yeah. It's it's coming very soon. Oh, very cool. Yes. Very cool. You know, it, it, as you said that, in my mind, I, I could hear the words of the late great Kobe Bryant mm. and the idea of Mamba mentality. Oh yeah. And the idea of just never quitting. And there's that famous story that Allen Iverson tells that when they got to the Olympics, so it was both of their first games. And uh, Alan Iverson said, he goes, I got there and I was looking for the closest bar and, and we're going to go party. Mm -hmm. And Kobe says, no, I'm hitting the gym. Mm. And he says, that's what made Kobe Bryant so great. And the fact that it, he just never took a day off. He knew no one was coming to save him. He knew that if he won the gold medal, he was the one that had to go earn it. Yes. And I just, I hear that Mamba mentality. I love I that. I mean, you're the Kobe Bryant of the art world, I right? That. So that's what we'll call you that. from now on. I Kyle. like that. I'll but take it. I yeah. like that, that mentality. And I just think it says, it speaks volumes to people who aren't in the art world. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not just something that applies in art. This exactly. This applies everyday in every life. aspect of your everyday life. Everyday life. Uh, you know, again, working on yourself. You know, work, my one of my favorite public speakers, uh, Jim Rohn, R-O-H-N, not to be confused with Rohn. Um, he uh, once said that, um, uh, I'm sorry, uh, pursuing yourself and pursuing, uh, you know, work harder on yourself than you do your job. Yeah. That was his quote, work harder on yourself than you do your job. Mm -hmm. And that always just resonated with me. Um, so even, you know, we, we mentioned before how I learned from other jobs. While I'm working at the job, I'm working harder on myself, yeah. you know, interactions with folks and making sure I conduct myself uh, correctly. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's definitely not just the art world, it's for anybody, that's what the brand's all about, uh, to inspire, motivate, and, and keep you focused. That's great advice. Kyle, don't go away, we'll come back right after this break. We'll be back right after this break. Welcome back to Face the Issues. Kyle, thanks again for joining us. Uh, thank you for sharing your story with us and, and for just being so authentic here today. I want to ask you, you you've made uh, several allusions to God in this conversation. I know faith is a big deal for you. Mm -hmm. um, talk to us a little bit about faith and, and what faith means to you and how it's inspired your work. Sure. Um, yeah, it, it, you know, there's no uh, if, ands, or buts about it. As I mentioned before, uh, God gave me the, 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 the name of the brand, A True Love Story. Um, faith for me has always been uh, paramount. I may not have always called it faith. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I have had my ups and downs with, with going to churches and things of that nature and, and you know, personal life and loss and mm -hmm. confusion and, and, and sometimes doubt, you mm -hmm. know. Um, but even as a, a young man and as a child, um, I always believed in myself and I believe faith uh, and believing in oneself go hand in hand. Um, I was always able to pick myself up uh, going through struggles and loss and, and, and so on. Um, and I would have these moments of clarity um, and I would push some to the side, I won't lie, but uh, at the end of the day, faith always came back. Uh, faith was always a reminder and my experiences were always a reminder of faith. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, faith is definitely very important uh, because at the end, my question to someone that, that doubts or does have uh, you know, lack of faith is, you know, what's the alternative? Why would I not want to believe in a higher being? Why would I not want to believe in myself? Why would I not want to believe in God being in, in me? Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely 
the um, you know the lighter side of things. It's it's definitely uh, the right way to go about living life. You're you're more generous. You're more caring. More giving. Uh, more empathy mm -hmm. uh, towards folks that are, are downtrodden. So yeah, faith plays a major role in my life, um, and and it's uh, going to continue to. Yeah, that's incredible. And Kyle, million dollar question. Sure. How can someone buy your artwork? Is your artwork for sale? How can someone buy it? How can they see what you do and support you? Absolutely. Yeah, artwork is always for sale. Uh, I, I do some canvas work. I do murals, of course. Mm -hmm. If you ever, anyone would ever need a, um, a uh, mural or canvas work, feel free to reach out to me. I can email me at Kyle Edwards at a true love story llc.com uh, my website has the apparel and artwork mm -hmm. for sale uh, it is a true love story llc.com a little lengthy but again it's worth it uh, you'll appreciate it when you get on there um, so yeah they can reach out to me uh, on instagram as well uh, a true love story llc um, but yeah i'm, I'm open to uh, uh, starting the conversation for sure yeah it's fantastic kyle thank you so much for joining us Thanks thank for you for me. doing art um, and then for being just so open and authentic about your journey. I know these are tough things to talk about in so many ways, yet it's, you've, you've found a way to transform tragedy in your life into just ecstatic beauty. And I think that says a lot about you. And I deeply appreciate you joining us and I'm looking forward to what's next for you. I appreciate that. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, our pleasure. Well, I wanna thank Kyle Edwards for joining us. And again, that website is a truelovestoryllc.com go check it out. And I hope you'll join us again right here next week. On behalf of all of us here at Face the Issues, my name is Sam Chen. Thank you and good night.